Hi, welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance. Back in episode three, we looked at how to build a EEPROM programmer that you could use to program new ROM chips for your Apple II Plus or IIe computer. And this time I'd like to show you um, how to actually convert that from a breadboard to an actual printed circuit board. And this way we can free up the breadboard for other projects and just get some practice at uh, assembling real circuits. So let's get started. So here's the circuit that we're going to rebuild. And what this is is a EEPROM programmer for a 28C16 or a 28C64 EEPROM. And these are the uh, EEPROMs that you can use inside of an Apple II computer uh, to store, for example, the character ROM uh, or the actual uh, ROM in the Apple IIe. And so ignore the top half of the breadboard. That's actually a completely different circuit. Uh, but in the bottom half of the board, you can see uh, we have two uh, 74HC595 shift registers. And those are the two right here at the top. And then at the bottom, we've got the EEPROM. Um, and then along the left-hand side, there's a bank of LEDs just to give a readout of the current state of the programmer. It uh, basically tells which, um, which address is currently being programmed. And this is all being controlled by a Arduino Uno. And the goal is to free up the breadboard. So I want to be able to uh, use the breadboard for other projects. And so what I want to do is just rebuild this on a actual circuit board. And so over here I've got a blank uh, circuit board from SparkFun and all the, uh, the holes in this are not connected to each other um, so they're just all independent and you can see uh, what I'm going to use to drive it is instead of a uh, Arduino Uno is here I've got a Arduino Pro Mini uh, which just has a much smaller form factor and you can see I've already soldered on um, some headers to this so that we can actually take it off the board if we want to use it for a different project and then to actually mount the chips, I've got some sockets. So I've got uh, two sets of sockets for the um, uh, 74HC595s, the shift registers, and then one larger socket for the EEPROM. And this will hold either the uh, 28C16 um, with its pins, or it'll hold the uh, 28C64, which has a slightly higher number of pins. So what we're going to do is just place all the components and then use a bunch of uh, wires to connect everything up. And I'm actually going to use the, uh, the LED banks. I'll just transfer those over. I, I'm not going to socket those just because they're pretty cheap. So um, even if I goof it up, it's no big deal. Okay, so here's the board all laid out. And you can see on the left-hand side I've got my LED bank. And I've already soldered those in along with the resistors. And then I've got the sockets for the shift registers, uh, the socket for the EEPROM, and then finally the Arduino Pro Mini. Um, and these right now are just held down with little dabs of super glue. Um, I had to use a little scotch tape to hold down this one because it was so big. And the next thing I want to do is plan out the wiring diagram. And so I've done that. And here it is. This is actually the back side of the uh, board, and you can see I've got the components labeled, and everything uh, is actually you know flipped left to right, uh, just because it's on the back. And you can see I've got all my wires. Uh, the red is for uh, positive, blue is ground. Uh, the green wires are control wires, and the black wires are the data uh, and address lines. So it's time to get started soldering. All right, so now we're done soldering all of the wires. Uh, you can see I have uh, a, a main uh, plus five volt power line at the top and my ground at the bottom and then all of the uh, other address and data lines uh, coming out of the various uh, chips. So let's flip it over and look at the front. So here you can see the LEDs on the left with the resistors, uh, the shift registers next to those. In the middle is the uh, C2816 uh, 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 EEPROM that we're going to program 
and then on the right hand side is the Arduino Pro Mini. So let's plug it in and see if it works. Oh, and by the way, there's a, a switch here right in the middle, um, and this lets it switch between programming uh, the 16K or the 64K EE prom. Uh, this basically just switches the right enable line, uh, which needs to move from uh, one pin to another pin, and it also enables the um, address 11 line, which is the extra bit uh, needed uh, for one of the uh, for the, the 64. All right, now we've got it plugged into the computer, and the power LED light is on, which is a good sign. Um, so now we'll go ahead and upload the programming sketch. Uh, so here we are in the Arduino uh, development environment, and I'll go ahead and hit Upload. And you can see that it is transmitting uh, the program over to the Arduino Pro Mini, and there are the LEDs lit up. Uh, from bits 1 through 11. Here, let me hit the reset button so you can see that again. And there we go. So that's 11 bits uh, because it's a 2K, uh, 2 kilobyte or a 16 kilobit chip that we're trying to program. Um, so now let's go ahead and we'll actually try and program it. So in the Arduino um, application, I'll bring up the serial monitor and it'll go ahead and tell me that it's ready and ask me to hit return to actually start the reading and writing and so now let's watch what happens when I do that uh, so I hit return and now it's actually programming all of the uh, 16 kilobits information um, on the uh, serial console which I'm not showing it's actually printing out the uh, the bytes as it's writing it and then once it's done writing all of it out it will read them all back in. That'll be so quick you probably won't even be able to see it. Um, so that, and it's all done and all of the data uh, matches what I was writing. So it looks like the circuit is all working correctly. So the last thing we want to try is programming the 28C64 uh, which is the 64 kilobit or 8 kilobyte uh, EEPROM and so we've already uploaded the sketch to the board and we're going to go ahead and just uh, using the serial uh, output console on the uh, Arduino we're just going to write um, all the data to the EE prom and you'll notice that uh, I had to flip the switch into the up position and so this allows the output um, from pin 11 to actually go to the uh, correct pin on the uh, 28C64 um, and then it also switches so the right enable uh, pin is also in the correct spot and as you can see it's actually writing all the data out the LEDs are counting up um, using binary and once it's done it'll just go ahead and read it back in to confirm that we've written all the correct data and if we have then uh, Everything will check out, and we can actually go ahead and use this to program any of the uh, either 16 kilobit or 64 kilobit chips for the uh, Apple TV series of Q. So, uh, thanks for watching.